Hi guys, I'm Holly. And I'm Jess. And, and we're, we're Lucius. Lucius. And we're at Amoeba Records in Hollywood. And this is what's in my bag. And my bag. Our bag. <laughs> Okay, first thing is David Bowie, Hunky Dory. We have sung a couple songs off this record. We love, love, love this record and, and all things David Bowie. One of my favorite songs on this record is Fill Your Heart. It reminds me of my sister because we used to sing it together and it's so dorky, but it really does fill your heart. So um, <laughs> <laughs> I just love it. Gentleness clears the soul. Love will clean your mind and make you a party. David Bowie is an artist who did constantly reinvent himself or reimagine himself. And it's something that we really like to think about when we're imagining a, a landscape for our albums, both musically and visually. He's been a, a great source of inspiration. This next record is Adrian Lanker of Big Thief. It's songs and instrumentals, and I just fell in love with her as a poet and as a um, melodic writer. Everything feels like it just like pours out of her heart and you believe the story and you're there with her in those stories and um, it just resonates really well. It's, she has a beautiful natural voice and these songs have just, especially through pandemic, have taken a, a deep um, place in my heart. Adrian Lanker, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is Minnie Ripperton, uh, Come to My Garden. This has one of our favorite songs, Les Fleurs, on it, which we will, I don't know if we'll ever attempt to cover. We will try <laughs> and attempt. We'll talk about it, um, but we'll, we'll see. And yeah, incredible singer. First time I heard Loving You, I accepted that as a, a challenge. Don't think I'll ever hit those notes, but I will keep trying. <laughs> A disco goddess, really, but with this sort of like cinematic sound. Everything, I mean, it's like incredibly complex harmonies and rich arrangements and this like effortless, massive voice. I mean, the flexibility and dynamics of her instrument is so beyond comprehension. And yet it feels like it just drips out of her. Mm -hmm. Badass. Oh, we fell in love with Judy Sill many, many years ago. Um, when we first started touring with our band, our guitar player Pete actually introduced us to Heart Food, which is our favorite album. They didn't have it on vinyl, but they have it on CD. That record has The Kiss on there, which is really like one of the most crushingly beautiful songs that exists, I think. Mm -hmm. show me how to fly really eerie vocals, um, doubling of vocals, which we've always done in our own music, which we create live, but have taken inspiration from somebody like her, who really was a, a pioneer of, of that folk sound and playing with um, the recording of the music, the recording process. Um, her songs are really, really hauntingly beautiful. And she has a really, wild, dark story that's worth looking into. We don't have enough time today to go into <laughs> that, but she's one of, one of the greats, and I, I don't think she has been given enough love, but we love you, Judy. We do. Judy Sill. Okay, I know it's a faux pas to do a compilation record, perhaps, but 
this is the baddest queen ever, Sade. <laughs> Love is stronger than pride. Love is Stronger Than Pride is my favorite, um, and it's on here, so I just had to pick it up. Um, they also had Diamond Life, which is also badass, which is also on here. Yeah, she is just classic. She's no frills. She's got her look. She's got her sound. She's not doing a bunch of vocal gymnastics. She's just like, I know who I am, and she's, oh, she's just one of my favorites. So that's her. Speaking of incredible vocalists, I mean, we take great inspiration from many amazing vocalists and it's hard not to bring in Diana Ross and Aretha and every singer that we've ever fallen in love with and that means a great deal to our lives, Joni Mitchell. But um, Nina Simone. They call me sweet thing. They call me sweet thing. I actually don't have this album, so I'm really looking forward to listening to all of her um, Montreux years, but I did fall in love with her 1976 performance that I have scoured the internet listening to live recordings of. You see, you'd agree. Everybody should be free, because if we ain't, we're murderous. She's just one of the greatest of all time. Mm -hmm. A true, masterful artist, poet, singer insane musician. Nina yes, Simone. I know how it feels to be free. Dark Side of the Moon. We had the great pleasure of touring with Roger Waters recently. Um, in the last few years, and we got to sing Great Gig in the Sky, which was insane. <laughs> and obviously Claire Torrey's version is incredible. Yeah, I think like we were already such great fans. I mean, I feel like everybody has their own Pink Floyd moment, mm -hmm. but um, to be able to see the how deeply meaningful each of those songs are to so many hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people every night was a true honor and a privilege and to bring those songs to life after having immersed ourselves in this album mm -hmm. and and the others yeah pretty cool <laughs> who is william anibor <laughs> Holly and I studied African music in college. We actually, it's one of the ways that we first connected. We spent a, a pretty good amount of time in Africa um, studying the music and over the years have just tried to immerse ourselves in both music that we learned there, but also continuing to find other artists who are inspiring and uh, William Anyabor was one of them. Mm -hmm. um, Atomic Bomb. I mean, it's an amazing blend of like um, roots music and psychedelia. And um, it's interesting because it's very complex, but it's also really easy to listen to mm -hmm. and joyful. Um, really good driving music. I listen to it on the road a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Play Monty Boar. This is a little nerve wracking. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up going on long car rides with my dad listening to tapes of Sam Cooke and the Everly Brothers and Linda Ronstadt and Roy Orbison, who was probably the first man I ever fell in love with and certainly one of the first voices I, that really made me learn how to sing and want to sing, want to use my voice. I think he is one of the greatest singers of all time and crying was my dad and my song, as sad as it is. <laughs> and from this moment on, I'll be crying. We would belt it at the top of our lungs driving to Bakersfield and, yeah, I mean, 
that's it. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank of you. course.